ye shall be as gods, or ye shall be like God. That's the promise, isn't it? That's been the very first promise given in that garden of temptation. You will be as God is, no different, or a, a likeness of God, an image, the ability to do as God does. Hell's master makes that offer, that offer of temptation. And of course, it's an offer of power of sorts, isn't it? And so, everyone who has eaten of that fruit, that wrong idea, well, you're in here, you're experiencing this system of hell. Because hell's master gave that offer and one accepted it. That's just the obvious fact of the thing. So what does it mean to be as God or to do as God does, to have that kind of power? This is obviously what has been noted as the aspect of vision. So what is vision exactly? Well, vision is the ability to see what you want to affect and then to affect change upon it in some form or the other, be it good or bad or what have you. One has to start from vision. Everything starts from vision. You can call it an idea if you want, but it in essence means the same thing. So from there, from that root cause or aspect of vision, then one takes their power and moves it outwardly to affect the change upon the thing that one desires to have changed. And so this is the promise, is that you have now attained the, the vision to be able to do that, the power, in various degrees. Obviously, everyone's power is different. There's different types of power. It could be seen. This system connotes that money is power. It's a form of power. And it has propped that up as one of the largest forms of power within its own system. So the more single-eye, mon-eye units that one has, the more power they have. Intelligence is obviously a form of power. Knowledge it said that knowledge is power. That's very obvious. The more knowledge one has, the more they're able to do, the more capable they are. And then the more they're able to affect things in the reality that they're a part of. That's just obvious. It could be said that beauty is a form of power. People use their looks, if you will, to gain access to different things in this place. And it's definitely a powerful force against people because of the eyes of desire. Physical strength, definitely another form of power, especially when one is more youthful. That's utilized quite often, and that proffers different advantages in various aspects. Uh, sports is a good example. So that ties into, again, the monetary aspect. Sports athletes seeking fame in the sport that they're pursuing, and then obviously the contracts involved and so on and so forth. There's many kinds of power and everyone is busy doing what they can to change the circumstances before them based on the power that they have. And another way that this has been put on here is it's a part of one's inheritance. It's actually the totality of one's essence. That's what makes an individual who they are 
and not somebody else. That's what makes you who you are and not somebody else. It's this inheritance, which at its root is the heart. That's the spirit. So this needs to be understood properly to understand what is being what is being referred to as vision. Obviously, it has nothing to do with the mind, which is blindness. It's the incorrect vision. But of course, in hell's system, that's the point. That's the whole point of the vision test and what this important message is all about. Because the promise is that everyone gets to have the same power as God, albeit in different degrees, to affect change in the reality, how they see fit, how you see fit. And of course the idea that there's no consequences involved whatsoever. Just go ahead and do what thou wilt. Use the earth in whatever way you see fit with your vision based on the power that you personally have. Go ahead, have Adder. It's a free for all. That's again why this is a shit show. And now we are at the point of having billions of differing visions and everyone wanting to affect change upon the earth, which is the heart, and upon other hearts, which is also a reflection of that same inheritance, that inheritance within each individual that has a heart that's connected to the earth. And how many want to affect change and influence upon those individuals to proffer more advantage and power for themselves. Obviously, this goes into the idea of competition, the idea of influence, all these factors. Everyone's taking their vision and trying to inflict their force of will, their power, upon as many others as is possible. Believe what I believe. How many are doing that? Religion is the perfect example of such a thing. Believe in my savior or in my religion because it offers me some type of advantage. And one can go into all the different types of advantage that it would proffer. That's just very obvious, even on a surface level. The more one digs into it, the more one realizes there is involved in doing that and the advantages thereof. It's very much to become part of a vision that is a likeness of what the idea of being God would be like to affect change. And if you can affect change against others who have their own power, well, that absolutely is power over them. Then you've won, in essence, their power. You've taken it from them. And you've acquired it for yourself. That's the game of this system as well. And the better you are at doing it, well, the more power you gain. That's what the system of evil already knows. That's their secret that they don't want anyone else to know. It's just all about acquisition of power for their selfishness, selfish pursuits, so that they can take more power yet again and become even more like God. And this just happens endlessly. And Hell's Master, obviously, is the greatest force of doing this. He's at the tippy top of the food chain of this shit show system that it currently for a little while longer is in control of well a very short while longer the tables are turning as it's been said already 
So the test obviously involves where the heart is. Who is seeing from the heart? Who is doing what the heart would do? But far too many, really, in essence, everyone is following the ideals of the mind and all of these selfish pursuits to, again, acquire more power to be utilized against the earth, against the heart. Acquisition of material wealth is a good example. Acquisition of influence and friends and business relationships, monetary wealth, fame, you name it. It's all about taking more. And the more one has, the more one sees that they are a success in this place. One has done what they were sent here to do. They lived a good life. That's what it's all about. Yeah, billions of visions and every last vision believing that they are correct in how they see. Believing that they're correct, that one is correct in how they're doing everything. And if one hears from the vision of the heart about what actually is correct, well, don't worry, you can just disagree with that. And then it just pushes it aside. See, look how easy that was. I disagree with what you're saying is correct. So there, there it was. You're just done with it. And it's over. No consequences rendered. So simple. Everyone is able to just pick pack their version of the truth that suits them best and especially suits the justification of their ideals, the justification of one's actions. Just pick pack the version that you like. And if you come across something that is disagreeable to you because, well, it's just too inconvenient to change the context or the pattern of your actions, well, just dismiss it. You can just dismiss that truth that actually would be coming from the heart quite potentially that you disagree with and just keep going forward with your selfish actions and your vision and the way that you want to do things and enact the changes upon the earth and other hearts that suits you the best and of course billions of visions all believe that eternity and the earth is just bowing down, kowtowing to their particular version of the truth and what should be done for them. Billions! So you can imagine the chaos of that. How chaotic and random it all is. Well, there absolutely can't be any kind of actual direction or a plan involved in such a shit show. A proper analogy is in a band. So imagine there are, let's say, four members in a band. And all four members decide, no, it's going to be the song I want to play right now. So there's no, no agreeing whatsoever in terms of just playing one song together. All four members decide, no, it's going to be my song right now. And each member gets busy playing their song. All at the same time. And each song is a different song. Well, I wonder how that sounds. Well, it's just a bunch of noise and chaos and randomness. It's quite actually a shit show. Imagine seeing that live, played live. Well, if you analogize properly, and that's a good analogy, that's exactly what humanity is doing to all of eternity, which is the earth, which is the heart. Billions of differing visions, all believing their course of action is the correct one, and going forth 
on that course and thinking it's all here to just serve every last individual. All random, all chaotic. No thought to there even being such a thing as a collective plan or something called a unified direction like a band. Well, ooh, now you've heard the elites, you know, talking about something like that, which is, of course, the ruse of this system to prop such an idea up as an evil thing. This is why analogy is also important as well. Is a band playing the same song evil? It's just ridiculous. No, everyone should have their own song played at the same time. There, that's goodness. <laughs> See, a unified vision where everyone plays the same song? Oh, that sounds like the Borg that was portrayed in Star Trek. Yeah, hive mind. Yeah, see, it props such an idea up as the worst possible thing ever. And of course, yeah, that's just a dictatorship. Yeah, hive mind, that's quite actually slavery. And guess what? As everyone's busy following their own vision, there's also the contradiction that everyone's caught in this system as a slave as well. So everyone is already in a hive mind. You just haven't been able to see that because this is the land of the blind. The reincarnation cycle system is the hive mind. It's the mind of death itself. Believing that there is no way out. You're already free. This is all there is and there's no consequences to, to anything. All these types of ideals that come from Hell's Master, there's the hive mind in actuality, in truth. And everyone's caught in that, well, until one is not. Because it's understood that there is a true vision that cuts through all the bullshit, that sees these subtle tactics as well. See, evil will toss itself under the bus if it proffers an advantage for it in the larger schematic of things. It'll call itself evil in some ways if it acts as a form of deception to keep the majority locked down in this prison system. Absolutely it does, and it does that often. It is a master of deception, quite actually. A master. Like one knows about con artists. There's such a thing known as the long con. Well, this is the longest con imaginable. It is a long, long, long con. It makes the art of the long con blush. Because a regular con artist wouldn't even have a comparison to go against what this system does in terms of its con artistry. So it's a master of blindness and deception and deceit. And of course, evil. And propping up the idea that everyone can have things their own way. And the earth is always just going to be here to bow down and serve blindness, serve incorrect ideas and chaos. A band which now contains billions of individuals all playing their own song at the same time. No actual direction, no plan of anything. Just total randomness. Basically only a musician or one who has been in a band can actually appreciate the analogy because a musician or band who works hard at becoming tight getting that that song or that set list really tight as good as it can possibly get in terms of one's level of musicianship 
It takes a lot of effort to do that. And of course, it takes a very unified vision to make that happen. You can't have four members in disagreement, in total disagreements in terms of what's going on every given moment. But that's this entire system. And that goes into the aspect of government and politics. Oh, you don't like that politician or that particular group called the Democrats or the Republicans or whoever the hell. Well, just vote for the other guy next time and they'll do better. And it's just a flip-flop back and forth, back and forth. Just more chaos, more of the shit show, more of the damn same thing. Nothing ever changes. Well, more destruction obviously happens, more chaos, more noise. If one wants to call that change, of course it's just more of the same. Actually, more of the same. More additions to the same shit. More wrong visions being added to the pile. All the time. Every last individual caught up in blindness, actual blindness, believing that they see correctly in their belief, in one's belief. It's ludicrous. So the vision test is all about who sees correctly. Where is the heart? Who are the ones asking the correct questions? And absolutely there are correct questions questions because it is a quest a vision quest and if one doesn't ask the right questions they're going to be steered off course they're going to go in wrong directions they're going to again follow the mind which just brings one back into the darkness being steered away again from the heart only 18 inches that journey but my goodness one can be caught in the reincarnation system for an endless amount of lifetimes. Not able to traverse the distance of that 18 inches, close the gap, if one will allow that to be stated. So then one reaches the finish line again in whatever corpse that they're wearing right now and then oh so close so close just didn't quite reach the heart that time yet again oh don't worry you'll eventually get another chance but I mean you got to go back down into the even worse place once you reach death of course because death is the harvester and it tosses you into its stomach crying for help well that's where the recharge takes place in the stomach acids just like batteries have acid obviously why well, I just just go into denial about that too I just brush it off and it just goes away it just disappears the truth the revelation being brought forth that's all one has to do like was mentioned several times in the last few messages if you don't like the idea that slaughterhouses are the complete incorrect and wrong vision just just dismiss it out of hand and then your incorrect vision will just continue to be served forever and ever by all of eternity by the infinite earth and the infinite heart see how easy that was you just followed the dictates and the advice of hell's master by just dismissing what you didn't like. Just pick pack the things that you do like. Whatever suits you. In whatever moment it suits you the best. And then you can live just a life of total contradictions. Every single day, every moment of every day. And just call it awesome. And it's just an experience. And then... You can say to yourself, once you reach death, well, you're just going to go to an even better place. Heaven's gates are just going to be open to you automatically because 
you were here and you did some things, whatever they were. It didn't matter, but you did them. Congratulations, there's heaven and the gates are open and all the angels are applauding your efforts. Well, we don't know what those efforts really were, but congratulations on them. Here you go. Here's a second eternity ready to serve you. All the angels are, are quite literally bowing down to the things that you you did here. Wow, you did those things and you, you did them. We are still uncertain what exactly it was that you thought you were doing, but congrats on whatever the thought was that you thought you were doing. And here's second eternity. Here's a, a second earth for you to do it again in your total state of blindness because you absolutely didn't pass the vision test of the heart whatsoever because you were completely unwilling to change a damn thing about anything. So here, here you go. Thank you so much for your unwillingness to change anything and your belief in things like slaughterhouses, uh, which one evil and incorrect vision leads to another. So whether it's admitted or not, you obviously believe in things like child trafficking too. You believe in chemtrails. You believe in chemicalization of everything. You believed in this death corpse meat suit that you're wearing. You thought it was pretty. That's why you took all these cell fees. Yeah, another phonetic tell. All the prison fees. All these cell fees. Saying, oh, I'm so handsome. I'm going to take a selfie. I'm so pretty. I have to take a new selfie. Everyone's going to look at my pretty face. Look at what I did. I smiled. Congratulations on those selfies. Second eternity is yours. Congrats. It's ready to serve all of your wrong ideas. Because you didn't even realize there was a vision test. But it doesn't matter. You can just dismiss that out of hand too. There was no vision test. There never was. And there never will be. Yeah, there are no true creators. See how easy that is to dismiss? Just dismiss it. All this stuff just happened randomly through a big bang, like someone sitting on a toilet just shitting some horrendous thing out of their ass. And then kablam! All of this beauty on the earth just randomly happened because someone shat it out, like science says. And the endless justifications of blindness can continue that have no consequence. Of course, one realizes, even in the most basic logic, that there's all kinds of consequences in one's life. You can't just go up to someone and punch them in the face and think there's no consequence. But, oh, when it comes to the systems of eternity, the whole aspect of the earth and everything involved in it, when it comes to things too incomprehensible to fathom well then there's no consequence all of a sudden see it's it's too big to imagine so then it's easy to conceptualize that it's all just here to serve us it's just bowing down and then once it's all taken and destroyed because now there's billions of incoherent blind incorrect visions that don't give a shit about anything but themselves well don't worry there's going to be a second earth there's going to be a third one, a fourth one, an 8,000th one. And it's all just going to be ready to bow down in deference to all of the blindness that just keeps stacking up onto itself over and over again. Building these communities of graveyards, ready to build up more of the dead constantly. Just have some more kids already. Holy shit. The elite, it's the depopulation agenda. Like, eight over 8 billion. Can't you see? Look, the number is dwindling. Have more frickin' kids by now. They're depopulating us. Can't? Isn't it obvious? I mean, these communities all over the place, the housing can't even keep up. Quite actually, can't build houses fast enough. 
or apartment buildings or whatever the hell just to put these death suit meat corpses into some place to have shelter. The depopulation agenda is working. That's why the buildings can't be put up fast enough. There's no contradiction in that. It's obvious. Look, the vaccine took care of it. So many excess deaths while the population keeps rising. Just ignore that contradiction, though, and believe the truthers. And if you start talking like this, start saying this, well, you must be one of the elite. See, he's one of them. He's a Freemason. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Again, evil tosses itself under the bus in these ways when it suits its agenda. And so many of these truthers, especially the most famous ones, yeah, I mean, they're the ones to really pay attention to in terms of what they've said. And are any of them, and I'm asking this outright, are any of them talking about the heart? Any of them. Are any of them talking about the true vision? Talking about vision, even, at all. Who's gotten to the root? As Henry David Thoreau said, he said it very well. For a thousand hacking away at the branches, there is one hacking at the root. And I would go so far myself to say, for every billion hacking at the branches, there's one hacking at the root. It's a narrow, narrow, narrow gate who is seen from the heart at all. Just so many focused on the theater still, thinking that's going to change a damn thing. What a joke. Just wanting to remain in blindness. So the vision test, that's what it's all about. It's about seeing with your heart. Where's the heart? All of eternity is asking this question all of the time. And when one finally gets out of the labyrinth of the mind, falls into the heart and then sees, actually sees where they are and what's going on, then everything changes. Then one has to change. Otherwise, yeah, you're just for evil then. Or just a general shitty individual. And you want to keep serving Hell's Master. But those who have truly fallen into the heart, well, that's not going to be the case. You're going to see correctly. Absolutely you are. There's one commenter who put it quite correctly. Either rats in a race or a star who cares. And rats obviously is rearranged into star. And race obviously is rearranged into care. So races obviously is cares. So rats in races or a star who cares. 100%. That's exactly what the vision test is all about too. Does one want to remain a rat in this human race? A rat in a sinking ship, on a sinking ship that's going down so damn fast, so soon. Do you want to be caught on the sinking ship going down into hell serving a master who will have nothing to offer? Absolutely nothing because there's not going to be an earth to offer it from. No heart. It's, get, it's getting taken away. That's all there is to it. There's not going to be anything for death to offer. Very soon. So one would take up that crown? and believe in it at all, 
That's going to be a very, very terrible mistake. Very terrible. Or one is going to choose the correct crown, which is the heart to be a true star. True. One who cares. And yeah, the classroom has been dark for a little while, and the message, the tonality of it has changed. Talking about what's to come, and it is scary. Absolutely. I scare because I care. Absolutely. I'm wanting every individual, the real, to wake up, to finally wake up. I care. I don't want anyone to be caught in this system going down with the ship. I don't want anyone to serve Hell's Master anymore. Everyone should be seen from their heart. Everyone. It takes a willingness, though. It takes effort. And if one isn't willing to do that because they're, you're caught in endlessly justifying the incorrect actions that just serve you in your pettiness, well, there's nothing anyone can do about that except for you. You're the only one that can change anything about you and your vision. The vision test is also about a willingness to correct your vision. You have to be willing. You have to put the work in. This is why I have kept saying, go in silence. Get rid of the distractions. Stop listening to the minions of death. Throw out your TV. Stop scrolling on your phone for hours on end. Remain sober. So many solutions have been presented. I just listed, again, a gamut of them that would take an enormous effort for a lot of people to accomplish, to do. Getting rid of the distractions, getting sober. Just right there. Right there is a, a set of solutions. Work on them. Get rid of the entertainment. Stop... Focusing on the damn theater and all the politics and all the bullshit. Is one willing to do that? Or is it just going to be a stream of justifications and pickpacking again? Whatever version of the truth that suits you. Because you're not willing to go down into the heart and listen to it. And the truth and the correct vision. The positive mind, the positive side of the mind, that's the mock of the heart. That's so many that believe they're in their heart, they're just on the positive side, the right side as it's called. I'm in my heart, no. You're probably actually on the right side, or so-called creative side of the brain, of the mind. Still not in your heart, still so much ego, still ready to take the next damn selfie and post it on your stupid social media account. Holy shit. Still not taking anything seriously. You think you're going to pass the vision test just automatically. Not even attempting to find the heart. Because one has given up the effort to continue asking the correct questions. Stuck in positions. Beliefs that one has has it all figured out oh i've got enough info i have all the knowledge that's what i mean these securities that one has set up for themselves false securities buffers of insulation to protect oneself from the actual truth because somehow yeah the disease pleasures of hell are just too much to give up they're just too enjoyable. So that's going to be a big part of one's choice to come, but also it should be one's choice right now. It should have been that way for quite some time. 
everyone's been getting their vision tested over and over and over again for their entire existence. But no one's no one's seen it. No one's conceptualized it. And that's a, an unfortunate fact. So this, all of this had to be noted. All of this had to be brought out. It's part of the revelation. It's a big part of it. It's so damn important. But again, many just want to fall back into their state of sleep and think that everything is just totally fine. And go ahead and condemn the speaker instead. Throw your insults, which also insulate, obviously. Insults insulate. And they are a form of defense against the actual legitimate truth of the heart. Again, see with your heart. See with your heart.